Hey race fans, Mike here, and this went down about three hours ago. Matt Kenseth is back, back again. This time he is replacing Kyle Larson in the 42. Purdy Associated Press and ESPN, former NASCAR champion Matt Kenseth will again return from retirement to compete for Ganassi Racing as the replacement for Kyle Larson. As you all know, Larson lost his job two weeks ago after using a racial slur during a live streamed virtual race. It was during Monza Madness over the Easter weekend. I will play that racial slur for you right now. And this is through two live streams of the Monster Madness. Props to Anne McCarron and Anthony Alfredo, as well as Connor Daly of IndyCar, for trying to defuse the situation. So, again, props to Aaron McCarron, Anthony Alfredo, and IndyCar's Kyle, not Kyle, Connor Daly for trying to defuse the situation, but it was already too little too late. Once he said that, his whole career went down the drain. The team instead announced Monday that other than going with Ross Chastain, who was the leading contender to replace Larson, that they will go with Matt Kenseth. In a statement issued by Ganassi Racing, I think Mac gets us the best chance to win, run up front, and compete for wins, Ganassi told the AP. I've always gone with the mantra of trying to take the best driver available, and he's the best driver available right now, and he brings something to our sponsors that they need right now. Stability, no baggage, family man, Daytona 500 winner, championship winner. Now, Kenseth turned 48 last month. He's in a class of drivers that includes Earnhardt Sr., my childhood favorite Jeff Gordon, Richard Petty, and David Pearson as the only competitors to ever win a Cup Championship, Rookie of the Year, and a Daytona 500. So, his credentials and accolades are up there. The question is, can he bring Ganassi back to fruition after the Kyle Larson incident. And this will actually reunite him with his old Roush family teammate Kurt Busch. Remember Busch and Kansas were teammates during Kurt Busch's 2004 championship run. So the teammate chemistry is already there. And as to whether or not Kansas will be able to run for the 2020 championship, Ganassi has said that they will petition NASCAR for a waiver to make Kansas, the 2003 Cup champion, eligible to race for a title this season. NASCAR has already completed four races before the season was suspended due to this pandemic. Now, I'm not going to use the word retired to describe Kansas' departure from Gibbs Racing. Rather, he was forced out to make room for Eric Jones. He did come back for a handful of races drive for Fenway, Roush Fenway Racing, in place of Trevor Bain, and he joined Gibbs in 2013, uh, won, I think, seven races that year, finished runner-up, I think that one was Jimmy Johnson, I'm not sure, yeah, it was Jimmy Johnson, anyway, Kenseth in the 42 
to round out 2020. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. I'm heading to the garage for now. See you later, race fans. Rock on.